So here's our today's question. Um, we have this system, which is in equilibrium again, and uh, we have five chords, and we are looking to find the tension in every single of these chords here. Um, we have this object, which weighs 600 newtons, and that's all we have. We just need to find all the tensions. So, so let's get started. Uh, for, for getting started, I would like to start with knot A. In knot A, what we have is uh, two chords and one weight, right? So let's draw the free body diagram. I can draw it correctly. <laughs> okay. So X, Y, we have a 600 object hanging from this knot. So the weight holds down on this cord with a force of 600 newtons, right? So that's what we have here. Um, we have T2 in that direction. T2. And we have T1 in this direction. So you're given this angle, right? Uh, so we can easily say this angle is 60 degrees and also this angle is 60 degrees as well. So if I get back to here, I can say the angle between T2 and the x-axis is 6 degrees, 60 degrees. And we have the same thing right here. So let's find the components for each tension. The X component for, or I mean the horizontal component for T2 is T2 cosine of 60 degrees. And its horizontal component is T2 sine of 60 degrees. For this guy, the X component would be T1 cosine of 60 degrees and the other component of it is T1 sine of 60 degrees. Um, that's it. So by applying the first condition for equilibrium, we have the sum of all the forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero, right? So we have, in the x direction, we have this one, which is negative t1 cosine of 60 degrees plus this component, which is t2 cosine of 60 degrees, and it has to be zero. We do not have anything else on the x direction or on the x axis. Uh, let's do the same thing for the y direction. In the x direction, in the y direction, we have negative 600 newtons, and then we have this one, which is T2 sine of 60 degrees, and then we have this one plus T1 sine of 60 degrees, and that's all, yes. And it has to be equal to zero. Uh, from the first equation, you can see that T1 cosine of 60 degrees equals to T2 
cosine of 60 degrees. Uh, so that means T1 equals T2. Because these two cancel out and we have T1 equals to T2. Uh, for from the second equation, so now we can substitute T1 for T2. If I do that, the second equation would be, so if I substitute T1 for T2, we have T1 sine of 60 degrees plus T1 sine of 60 degrees equal to zero. And now we can find uh, the value of T1, which is 600 uh, newtons divided by 2 sine of 60 degrees. And I already found the value of this guy. It's, it's, it's approximately 346 newtons. So that means T1 is uh, 346 newtons, and likewise T2 is 346 newtons as well. So you're done with this knot, we found this one, and we have found also T2. So let's go for another knot. I want to start with uh, knot B. For knot B, let's again do the same thing. We need to find, we need to draw the free body diagram. X and Y. So for knot B, we have T3, right? We have T2. And we have T5 in this direction. Uh, so easily we can find the angle of here, which is 90 degree minus 70 degree, which is 20 degrees. So we have 20 degrees here. Uh, Let's find this angle. So T2, well, let's look at this triangle. This triangle is a equilateral triangle, meaning all the angles are 60 degrees within this triangle, right? So if that's the case, if from here to here is 60 degrees, you found the answer, that's 60 degrees. Uh, and I think we're done, yes. So now let's find the components of each tension or each vector here. We have the value of this uh, component is T3 cosine of 20 degrees and the value of that one is T3 sine of 20 degrees for this guy we have T2 sine of 60 degrees and the X component of it is T2 cosine of 60 degrees. Again, let's apply the first condition for equilibrium. Uh, okay, so in the x direction, what do we got? We got uh, negative 
t5 and then we have negative t2 cosine of 60 degrees plus t3 cosine of 20 degrees and that's it um, so let's do the same thing for the y direction for the y direction we have this component negative t2 sine of 60 degrees we have uh, what else we have this component which is t3 sine of 20 degrees equal to zero so from this equation remember we already found t2 t2 is 360 346 newtons so you can easily find t3 here and t3 is t2 sine of 60 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees and that's almost equal to 877 newtons okay so let's get back to the first equation we already found t3 we found t2 now we just need to find t5 right so from the first equation t5 equals uh, negative t2 cosine of 60 degrees plus t3 cosine of 20 degrees it's equal to t2 is 346 newtons times cosine of 60 degrees plus uh, T3, we found it's 877 times cosine of 20 degrees. And if you solve this, I already found the answer, found the answer and T5 equals to 651 newtons. So we're done with uh, not B. Let's do not, uh, not C, which is the only one left. So for not C, let's draw the free body diagram again. X, Y. Uh, okay. So what do we have for T? We have T4 which is right here we have T5 and then we have T1 so um, we can easily say this angle is a 90 degree minus 70 degree that means it's equal to 20 degrees so we have 20 degrees here let's find this one this one is t1 and we know that that's 60 degrees and let's put that 60 degrees here as well um okay okay we're done so now uh again we should do the same uh 
thing we did for the other two knots. All the forces, some of the all the all the forces in the x direction has to be equal to zero because the whole system is in equilibrium. That's the definition of equilibrium. Uh, so in the okay, but oh, I forgot something. Before we do that, let's find the component of each vector. So T4, its X component is T4 cosine of 20 degrees. Its Y component is T4 sine of 20 degrees. And for T1, its Y component is uh, T1 sine of this angle and uh, for its X component we have T1 cosine of 60 degrees. Okay, uh, what do we got now? In the X direction, we have this component, which is negative T4 cosine of 20 degrees. What else we have? We have this component, which is T1 cosine of 60 degrees. And then we have T5 that has to be equal to zero. Um, so we already found T5, we already found T1. T1 is 346 and T5 is 651 newtons. So let's substitute those values for T1 and T5. T4 we can tell is T1 cosine of 60 degrees plus T5 divided by cosine of 20. And we know that T1 was 346 newtons times cosine of 60 degrees plus T5, which was 651 newtons, 651 newtons divided by cosine of 20. And again, uh, I found the value of uh, T4 already. And T4 is 877 newtons. So let's do the Y direction. In the y direction, what do we have? In the y direction, we have negative T1 cosine of 60 degrees, negative T1 cosine of 60 degrees. And then we have this component, which is T4 sine of 20 degrees. That has to be equal to zero. So, also, we can find T4 from this equation. We were already finished at this level. Uh, but this is another way of like, this is another just way of like finding the same value for T4. And we can say that from this equation, T4 is T1 cosine of 60 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees. And that's approximately equal to 877 newtons. So, I think we're done with all the tensions we had we had to find. We found T1, T2, T3, T4, and T5. Let's double check. Yes, that was it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful night.